Picture this, a dimly lit room, the flickering glow of a vintage projector casting a warm, nostalgic ambience. The anticipation in the air is palpable as the audience settles into their seats, the excitement of a cinematic journey about to unfold. And then, as the screen comes to life, the hauntingly beautiful tale of the train transports you to a world of suspense, courage, and moral dilemmas. For those who've had the privilege of encountering this 1964 masterpiece, memories are etched in time. Perhaps it was the first time you witnessed Burt Lancaster's unyielding determination as he battled against all odds to save priceless art from the clutches of war. Or maybe it was the breathtaking cinematography that left you spellbound, capturing the chaos and beauty of a world torn apart by conflict. The train isn't just a movie, it's an experience. It's a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit in the face of destruction and the enduring power of art to transcend the darkest of times. But now, let's dive a little deeper into the fascinating world of this film, uncovering some random facts that might just surprise you. From the meticulous attention to detail in recreating historical events to the incredible sacrifices made by the cast and crew, the train is a treasure trove of behind-the-scenes stories that add another layer to its already compelling narrative. So, fasten your seatbelts, dear reader, as we embark on a journey through time and cinema, exploring the lesser-known facets of the train. Get ready to be amazed, for the tracks ahead are filled with unexpected twists and turns. The Train is a 1964 war film directed by John Frankenheimer and starring Burt Lancaster and Paul Schofield. The film is set in Nazi-occupied France during World War II and follows the story of a French resistance fighter, played by Lancaster, who attempts to stop a train loaded with priceless artwork stolen by the Germans from leaving the country. The movie is based on real events and is known for its intense action sequences and gripping suspense as the protagonist and his team race against time to prevent the train's departure. Lancaster and Schofield deliver standout performances, with Lancaster's character epitomizing heroism and Schofield portraying a ruthless German officer. What sets the train apart is its focus on the moral dilemma faced by its characters, who must weigh the value of art against human lives. The film's unique style combines thrilling train chase scenes with thought-provoking themes about cultural preservation and wartime ethics. Its impact on popular culture lies in its portrayal of the sacrifices made to protect cultural heritage during times of conflict, sparking discussions about the importance of art in the face of war. In summary, The Train is a classic war film that combines action-packed sequences, memorable characters, and a thought-provoking narrative to explore the value of art and human life during World War II. Its enduring impact on popular culture continues to resonate with audiences today, making it a timeless cinematic masterpiece. In the 1964 movie The Train, director John Frankenheimer aimed for maximum realism. He insisted on using real trains for the action scenes, saying, I wanted all the realism possible. There are no tricks in this film. When trains crash together, they are real trains. There is no substitute for that kind of reality. Burt Lancaster, who played the character Leibich, had a surprising connection to the film. Unlike Leibich, who was indifferent to art, Lancaster was a genuine art enthusiast. Over the years, he amassed an impressive collection of paintings. What makes the train even more remarkable is that Burt Lancaster performed all of his own stunts in the movie. Not only Lancaster, but Albert RMY also got in on the action by performing the daring stunt of uncoupling the engine from the painting's train while it was actually in motion. This commitment to realism and the dedication of the actors and director contributed to the intense and authentic feel of the train, making it a memorable film for both its thrilling action and unexpected connections. The Train, Explosive Action, and Real History The 1964 movie The Train is renowned for its gripping sequences, but one in particular stands out. The massive railway station bombardment, lasting just over a minute, demanded four months of preparation. Director John Frankenheimer, along with star Burt Lancaster, embarked on a risky journey, orchestrating 140 separate explosions. They used a ton of TNT. 2,000 gallons of gas, and deployed 22 cameras to capture the intense chaos. At one point, a locomotive veered off track, spiraling out of control, putting lives on the line in the pursuit of cinematic perfection. In a surprising twist, the film's depiction of a daring art heist carries a grain of truth. 
In reality, during World War II, the Nazis did load artworks from French museums onto trains bound for Germany. However, the elaborate deception shown in the movie wasn't necessary. The train carrying the art was slyly routed onto a ring railway, endlessly circling Paris until the Allies liberated the city. Another fascinating tidbit about the film involves its leading man, Burt Lancaster. In the midst of filming the train, Lancaster flew back to the United States to participate in the historic March on Washington on August 28, 1963, joining the ranks of civil rights activists in a pivotal moment of American history. The train is more than just a war film, it's a testament to the dedication and risk-taking that went into creating iconic scenes. With explosive action and real history intertwined, it's a cinematic journey worth revisiting. In the 1964 movie The Train, directed by John Frankenheimer and starring Burt Lancaster, there's an interesting tidbit about the armored locomotive used in the early parts of the film and during the air raid scene. This locomotive was originally a French engine, but it was transformed to resemble a German BP-44 series armored locomotive. To achieve this transformation, plywood was used to create the desired look. However, in some shots of the locomotive, if you look closely, you can actually see the plywood moving due to the vibrations of the real locomotive. It's a small but fascinating detail that adds authenticity to the movie's depiction of World War II. Burt Lancaster, who played a crucial role in the film, faced unique circumstances during its production. He was forced by United Artists to make four films in the 1960s for a significantly reduced fee of $150,000 per picture. This was quite a departure from his normal fee of $750,000. The reason behind this change was cost overruns at his production company, Hecht Hill Lancaster, for which he was personally responsible. The Train was one of the films he made during this period, showcasing his commitment to his craft and the industry, even when faced with financial challenges. During the filming of The Train, Burt Lancaster took a day off to enjoy a round of golf when the production was approximately halfway completed. However, during his time on the links, he had an unfortunate mishap. He stepped into a hole and re-aggravated an old knee injury. To accommodate this injury and keep the production on track, director John Frankenheimer decided to incorporate it into the storyline. Lancaster's character was shot in the leg, allowing him to limp through the rest of the shooting, demonstrating the flexibility and adaptability required in the world of filmmaking. His intriguing behind-the-scenes details shed light on the making of the train and the challenges faced by the cast and crew during its production. Despite these obstacles, the film remains a classic in the world of war movies, known for its gripping story and authentic portrayal of wartime events. As we bid adieu to the captivating journey through the 1964 cinematic masterpiece, The Train, we invite you to pause for a moment and delve into the depths of your own cinematic connection. This film, directed by John Frankenheimer and starring the legendary Burt Lancaster, stands as a timeless testament to the power of human determination and the struggle to preserve art in the face of adversity. In this riveting tale set against the backdrop of World War II, you've witnessed the relentless pursuit of art by individuals who risked everything to protect it from the clutches of destruction. The train's gripping narrative reminds us of the enduring human spirit and the sacrifices made in the name of culture. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts, your memories, your emotions evoked by this cinematic gem. Did you find yourself drawn to the characters, their dilemmas, and their unwavering commitment? Or perhaps you were entranced by the film's stunning cinematography and gripping suspense? Whatever it may be, we encourage you to reflect on your personal connection with the train and share your favorite moments or thoughts. Your voice adds to the collective appreciation of this cinematic treasure. Let your words be a tribute to the enduring legacy of the train. Your comments below will enrich the tapestry of shared experiences and emotions that this film has evoked over the years. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey, for your time, and for sharing your thoughts. Together, we celebrate the enduring power of film and the indomitable spirit of humanity. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, stay inspired, stay curious, and keep the love for cinema alive. Warmest regards.